Where? Where? it's Brian here and it's time for another Jeep video and this is not really how I envision cleaning the windshield on my Jeep every time it gets dusty so it turns out that the windshield washer pump has gone bad and I really don't feel like losing half a reservoir full of fancy Rain-X fluid so I bought a new pump and I'm going to show you how to change it it's not a very complicated project, but it's a lot easier if we take this out. So that's what we're gonna do. It's nice to have one of these little trays, um, but don't pay more than a couple bucks for them. Um, they're on sale like every other week at Harbor Freight and other places. So first things first, you need to undo these. These are 10 millimeter bolts. All right, there's another one. The other one is on the front side. It's a little harder to get to, but you can still get to it without removing the horn. Or at least I think you can. Putting it back might be another story, but once it's loose, you don't really need the ratchet anymore. Or do you? Let me get another um, extension. All right, so a second extension will make this easier to deal with. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out because it's also in my way. Just set that off to the side. It'll be fine. get this uh, wire connector off. It's not that hard to pull off. All right, at this point, this will lift out and we can disconnect this. And we'll just empty that in there. All right, so We'll be back in just a minute. All right, so this should just twist out. There we go. And then we can insert a new one. Now, the new one came with a new grommet, but unless there's something wrong with the grommet, there's not really a point in replacing it. And while that does fit, this comes with an adapter, which will make it fit. So it should be as easy as that. I'm not going to screw with it. I guess it doesn't matter which one goes where, because if it did, they would be marked. So,
Right, so maybe it doesn't fit. Because one doesn't fit. And that's a good indicator of polarity right there. So this will plug into the Jeep connector, not a big deal. Let's go back to the vehicle. We'll save this because we'll probably never need it again. And then this can go in the trash. Clearly it's had better days. Now, before we get too far, I'm gonna go ahead and hook the wire up and fits in one way, so next we're going to see if it comes on. <laughs> Sounds like it works to me. So, now we need to reconnect this. And then reinstall the uh, bolts. It's really that simple. Um, I'm of the belief that anyone could do this. just need to be snug. This isn't like holding the whole vehicle up. Although it's a Jeep, it might be. And then we will repatriate all of this. So pour it back in. gallon so yeah. uh, and we got a little issue here I don't want this bouncing around in here so I'm gonna zip tie it up here out of the way and that's gonna be an extra project I'm gonna go get some zip ties okay so nothing magical here um, there's nothing you can do this however it makes sense to you which is what I'm doing And I'm going to add one more up here. Alright, so now we're going to put the overflow or expansion reservoir back in. And that's all there is to that.
That's how that's supposed to work. Much better. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you find out when I release new videos. All the videos related to rebuilding this Jeep and going from total loss to daily driver are under my Jeep build playlist. Thank you Southwest for the interruption. Um, and uh, I will link to the part that I used on Am off of Amazon. It was about 15 bucks. So it's an easy, easy repair.